Earlier this year, Moody's Analytics put out a study comparing apartment development and demand in and out of the central business districts, or CBDs, of major metropolitan areas. Specifically, Moody's wanted to see if young people who left the urban core when the pandemic started have since returned. Here's what they concluded. In the long run, they expect the demand to remain higher in the CBD apartment markets than their respective non-CBD counterparts. And they characterize this as residents remaining loyal to the urban lifestyle. There's evidence that in larger metros, net absorption between CBD and non-CBD submarkets tend to exhibit larger bifurcations relative to the rest of the nation. As such, construction will likely continue to be more active in the CBD areas, and their forecast suggests that inventory will grow about two times faster relative to non-CBD markets. This apartment demand for center city urban apartment living bodes well for the apartment REITs, Essex Property Trust, Equity Residential, and Avalon Bay communities that we often cover. And all three stocks have rallied hard over the last three months. One other factor that makes them attractive, the increasingly absurd amount of money required to be able to afford a home in most big and medium-sized U.S. cities.